Welcome to Manufacturing View, the production by and for those interested in all facets of manufacturing. My name is Justin Barris from Alazo Electronics in Dallas, Texas. Today's topic is two reasons why quality management for electronics manufacturers is unique. As a manufacturer, the second worst call you can receive bears news about a quality problem. I say second worst because the worst would be about a safety accident. A quality problem brings that sinking feeling that you've let down a customer, that you've broken a promise. And just as difficult, quality problems require time, energy, and resources to resolve, the cost for which all could have been avoided. For manufacturing companies, quality management systems are typically based on the ISO 9001 standard. And for some industries, there are specific standards, such as AS9100 for aerospace manufacturers, or ISO 13485 for medical device manufacturers. In addition to these, an electronics manufacturer needs to include two unique quality management aspects. One, the adherence to IPC standards, and two, unique types of quality assurance resources. Regarding the first point, the IPC A610 and IPC JSTD001 standards are widely practiced in electronics manufacturing. IPCA 610 provides inspection standards and acceptance criteria for component interconnections of circuit board assemblies. The IPC JSTD001 standard is focused on process control, the materials and methods to produce quality solder joints. Related to the IPC standard, there is a frequent question about the classes of workmanship for building electronics assemblies. The IPC 620 standard describes three classes of workmanship, which are based on product end use and reflect differences in producibility, complexity, performance requirements, and verification frequency. Class 1 is the least stringent, while Class 3 is the most stringent. The default standard is Class 2. Class 3 is for products with higher reliability requirements, such as aerospace products. The second major unique aspect of quality management for electronics manufacturers is related to the resources required for quality assurance. As PCBs are becoming more fragile, smaller and more complex quality assurance is critical. Resources for QA can include methods, personnel, training, and equipment for testing or inspection. Some of these can be applied to any manufacturing industry, such as visual or camera inspections, destructive testing, or product-specific functional testing. However, for the electronics manufacturing industry, there are some specific types. In-circuit testing, x-ray inspections, and automated optical inspections. To determine which to implement, cost, defect type, and inspection speed are primary decision criteria. In-circuit testing makes physical contact with the circuit board to measure electrical performance. It can observe many defects at high speeds and is usually applied to high volume products. X-ray systems indicate appearance defects, such as voids and solder joints that cannot be detected any other way. Automated optical inspection systems compare images of a PCB to a perfect reference image and are used for detecting component absence, polarity, position, and solder defects. So to deliver quality the first time, electronics manufacturers must integrate the unique aspects of IPC standards and specific quality assurance resources into their quality management systems. Doing this well will go a long way to avoiding that second worst phone call. This is Justin Barris. Thanking you for watching Manufacturing View.